Hey guys, Mr. Meister here. Sorry again for not doing these retro videos for some time. Call of Duty had the best of me. As you can see, this is the list that I've been doing. Yeah, I played all of them. I'm getting, I'm getting ready for Modern Warfare 3. But nevertheless, let's continue with a game called Bugs Quest for Tapes. Ah, the 80s. You know, when gaming was the best. Coming of age, step into your arcade. Seeing all those blinking lights. But no. This is 2021 when this game was released. Published by Novabug and developed by YBSoft. This is just your typical out of the mill 2D platformer. For the Amstrad CPC home computer system. My gosh. Through this whole entire game. 42 levels. It's got one entire track only. That's the good year. So you play as a bug as you go through each level collecting tapes. Your tapes for God knows what. Oh wait, no, you're collecting tapes and you're gonna make your way back to Bugloft? But it sure is important. I read that he is like. Like I said, there's 42 levels and I didn't just make it to 10. Fuck! Anyway, you go through these levels collecting tapes all the while dodging these enemies, original enemies, such as a moon, a face, sperm, oh wait, sorry, I mean ghost, a toddy controllers, the fuck? How are they even evil? So I want to know. Gremlins, pieces which looks like 286s, and my all time favorite, floating sheep. Now I've read that Postman Pat, a naked prostitute, and even Dizzy makes her appearance, but I haven't gotten that far yet in in this game. But maybe one day I will reach Bugloft and see what those tapes have on them. Mm, I wonder. Why do I think it's like banned movies like this 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 bug? He's collecting banned movies for some contractor. We might never know. But guys, thank you again, and stay tuned for, for more. I'm definitely going to do this. I actually missed doing this, so stay tuned for more. At least they granted you 25 lives, so...